Okay, so hello dears, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, or whatever um, time mga ninyo ni again you watch akong culture. So here we are again for another pre-recorded lecture um, for your bacteriology course. And our next topic is of course um, the second um, most important, uh, not really most important, but the second most fundamental um, lesson. All right, so mga basics in bacteriology, and that is your culture media preparation. Now, I'm sure that, you know, I've already discussed this in your intro to micro. So basically, parang ano na to, review na lang, hopefully, of um, your, what you've learned already sa intro to micro. And I hope naka-remember pa mo. And as you can see, medyo same pod ang um, PowerPoint that I used when I lectured in intro to micro. Um, so just, you know, again, a review. Nara kong gikuha na uban because again, Magbalik-balik na ta. Alright? So, kapoy na kayo balik-balik, right? Okay. So, um, again, this is culture and media preparation. So, as you can see, nabalik na po kukin ani because, you know, some of you, mm-hmm, fluey, charot lang, some of you are uh, once uh, na makitan daw ko. Sure. Okay, so, alright. So, again, this is culture and media preparation. My PowerPoint is, again, made by Sir Guasa. Yes, the Sir Guasa naman. Okay? So, uh, we'll now start. Okay. Now, We'll start first uh, defining what is culture. Now, your culture, these are microbes that grow in the laboratory or under artificial conditions. So these are um, the bacteria or the microorganisms that you grow in when you are working in the laboratory or in a culture medium. Now, again, this is, I think, the bulk of bacteriology. We culture, no? magpatubo tag kagaw. So basically, ang mga bacteria atong pets. <laughs> okay, so natay pets sa laboratory and that those are your bacteria, right? Okay. Now, again, culture, um, again, the growth of microorganisms and a culture medium. Now, we have three types of culture, yes? Um, I've already discussed this, again, sa intro to micro. Your first is, again, mixed culture. When we say mixed culture, by the name itself, sagol, right? So, mixed culture. In one culture medium, we already have two either two species or genera. So, example, Anna, let's say, nag-culture ka o BAP, blood agar plate. So, did to mismo, you have two um, species. Example, you have Staph aureus and maybe Staph epidermidis. Example. Or you have two genera, maybe Staph philococcus or Streptococcus. Yeah. Okay, so basically, guys, when, um, in generally, um, specimens, like coming from the body, example, uh, may it be stool ba, urine, and ana. Samot na if unsterile or non-sterile sites, example, areas na daghang normal uh, flora or normal microbiota, your culture usually primarily, it's mixed. Okay? So, because again, there are different types of organisms that grow there. Example, sa site na yung gikuha. Could be, again, a non-sterile site. Um, now, the goal of a medtech or a bacteriologist, is to isolate only the pathogen or the organism that is really causing the disease. And that is now what you call your pure or axenic culture. When you say pure culture, again, it, um, you're, you're, you're assuming that in the culture medium, ang nagro dito is one species or one genera only. Okay? And that's what we need to know or that's what we need to do. Usually, again, from mixed culture, ato na siyang i- Pure culture. Dapat mo isolate trataog one species or one genera, okay, or one genus. That's the goal of um, in bacteriology, okay. And the last type is your stock culture. Again, by the name itself, stock. It's for future uses or for further studies. That's why we um, preserve, okay. So again, it's for academic or industrial purposes, okay. So again, mixed culture. By the name itself, mixed sagul. Uh, the culture medium or the culture could be two types of bacteria, maybe two different species or two different genus. Maybe staph badira og strep, and staph aureus or staph saprophyticus, example like that. Now, for pure, again, axenic, only one genus. So, sa culture medium, it's really staph ragudito, it's only staph aureus. Uh, sa culture, it could only be E. coli. Nana. So, <clears throat> that's again our goal. We want to separate okay, the pathogen that's causing the disease from the normal microbiota. Okay? All right. And of course, you have stock culture for future purposes or for future uses. Okay? All right. Now, if you remember, um, sa, sa lecture na ako, usually, um, ah, later na di ay, sorry. <laughs> okay, now we'll define our culture medium. Now, what is your culture medium? It's a medium used to grow bacteria, basically. That's the point. So, uh, it's an artificial habitat, uh, basically, of the bacteria from... Um, in the laboratory, so that pwede siyang mastadihan, right? So, um, basically, you know, your bacteria mang good or mga kago, imo siyang gikuha from your body. And your body is a living culture medium, okay? Because, you know, you have a lot of 
um, nutrients, you have a lot of water, etc., etc. So your bacteria loves to thrive there, okay? Now, now that you're taking it out of the body, which is your body, of course, kailangan natin siyang patubuon sa lab. We need something that would, in a way, mimic or imitate the body's environment para mag-grow siya, okay? And that is now your culture medium. Because your bacteria, guys, mahala kung siya kagamay, no? It needs a lot of nutrients, gapon, mga, you know, pabibo siya, pa-special, no? Because, again, tao manggani kay kailangan of food ang kagaw pa kay ha, right? <laughs> so, basically, that's the point of culture medium. You want to support the growth of these microorganisms outside of the ideal environment, which is usually your body or another host ba? Um, and yeah, we need to supply what they need, okay, usually. And again, ang point, Anna, the culture media should always be sterile because walay, walay pulos if ang imuhang culture media, it's not sterile because again, you are introducing contaminants that may hinder your identification of the bacteria or um, that could lead to misdiagnosis also, okay? That's the point of um, kailangan sterile ang imuhang culture media, okay? And it can be either liquid, semi-solid or solid. We'll now go into the different types later, right? Okay. Um, yeah, depending on the growth pattern of microorganisms and depending also for transport and storage. And also depending on the different biochemical characteristics that you want to see from the bacteria. Okay? Alright. So, sa akong lecture di ay, muna siya. <laughs> Usually, mo start pata sa katong mga capnophilic, katong mga requirements na nutrients, right? Like katong different terms. So, wala na ako siya gilabot ka doon para mura, you know, it's just a review again. Right? So, para dili na ta, you know, magbalik-balik. Kaya kapo na kayong balik-balik sa person na sige gigi pasakitan ka. Ha? <laughs> okay. So, we'll now go directly to food elements. So, when you say food elements, these are again the types of nutrients or mga food na kailangan sa bacteria in order to grow. So, first is of course you have peptone. When you say peptone, by the name itself it's just protein, right? Um you can say usually from the digestion of meat, casein, so soya, gelatin. Basta again sources of carbon, energy and nitrogen. So, basically protein, peptone, yes. Next, you have carbohydrates. Of course, naman, it's for energy, right? May it be in the form of mono, di, tri, polysaccharides, yes. Next, you have minerals. Of course, marag yung mga vitamins, right? So, kita maganin ba mag vitamins ta? So, yung minerals, ano ni siya? Nagano siya? Ayam, sana. Ah, nalimot ko. Conzase. <laughs> Joke. Banga asa kong jokes. Ah, sabaw kay ko Anyway, okay. In low concentrations that allow bacterial growth only. So, example, mga. Uh, potassium, magnesium, manganese, iron, phosphate, sulfate, and salts. All right. Next, you have also meat or beef extract. Same purpose with peptone sources of um, amino acids, peptides, proteins. All right. And next, you have yeast extract because there are some bacteria that loves yeast. Okay, dili sa ganag no. Wow, bang asa kung joke kuya. Sigurad tayo balik-balik ang yeast og no. Anyway, so yeast og uh, yeast og no. Yeast extract <laughs> sources of amino acids, B vitamins, and um, usually atong ginagamit na yeast is your brewers or bakers yeast, and that is your Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Okay, so again your bakers or brewers yeast. Brewers yeast pang ferment sa mga alcohol sa mga sigig anak dera. All right, and uh, bakers yeast pang parais sa dough. Okay. And that is your Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Please take note of this. Common na kaya na. Be, uh, common knowledge, dapat. Okay. Next is, of course, bile or bile salts. Uh, bile and bile salts in the form of the oxycholic acid. And these are a type of inhibitors, meaning they inhibit the growth of specifically gram-positive bacteria. Because again, you know, there are types of nutrient or, or culture media that we don't want uh, gram-positive to grow, only the gram-negative in ana. Okay? So, bile and bile salts. Next, we also have, you have growth factors. Same vitamins and enzymes, mga cherry fur, charot lang. Joke. <laughs> okay, and agar agarose. This is the main um, component of your uh, culture media. And this is a polysaccharide gel. It's extracted from red algae or seaweed. So agarose is purified from agar. So agar siya and then you purify. Ang form niya is agarose. And the characteristics of agarose or agar, the melting temperature is of course at 100 degrees Celsius. But ang interesting thing kay mo liquid siya but pagbalik niya to about 45 degrees Celsius kay mugahi siya balik. Uy, mugahi siya balik. Pero mo poor plate tara to nang ibutang ang uh, culture media sa mga petri dishes at a temperature about 55 degrees Celsius. Okay, please take note. 55 degrees Celsius. Pero yung solidifying temperature mo 45 degrees Celsius na. Okay? So, again, mo lanay sa siya at high temperature and then pagbalik mo gahi siya. Oh, yes naman. We all love gahi things. Sure, joke lang. Okay. And next is of course your pH. It's about 7 to 7.5. Okay. Now, again, as I mentioned, agarose or agar, it comes from the extract of red algae, right? Seaweed extract. And these 
um, extract or this extract comes from two species or two genus of red algae, and that is from um, Gelidium and Gracilaria species. Okay, so please take note of these two. Diragi ka ng imuhang agar agaros. Gelidium and Gracilaria species. Ah, okay. Alright, unsa nitong type of culture na mixed? Ah, di ba? Wale po. Unsa na type of culture itong duwaka species or genus in one culture video? Mixed. <laughs> All right, now we go now to different classifications of culture media. First is, of course, we'll start with physical state consistency. Next is composition. Next is the manner of distribution or dispensing. And finally is its use, okay? So first, we'll go now to um, physical state or consistency. As mentioned ganina, you have liquid, semi-solid, and solid. First is you have solid. Solid has about 2 to 3% agar. And a very good example of that are yung mga plates, okay? Na sa Petri dishes. Bap. Blood agar plate, mac, makonki. Dili, initials akong X. Joke, okay? So, makonki, okay? And you have your TSI agar or triple sugar iron, okay? Next, you have your semi-solid. When we say semi-solid, only 0.5 to 1% agar. And usually, atong media, ana, is your SIM and decarboxylase media. Your SIM, again, sulfide indole motility and decarboxylase media. Uh, again, do not worry if medyo... Di na siya foreign ninyo. Na-mention na nako ni Saona. But we'll go further sa discussion, ani in when we come when we go to biochemical testing for gram-negative bacilli. So, don't worry. Okay? Alright. And lastly is, of course, you have liquid. So, by the name is of one siya agar, usually mga broth na to. Okay? So, again, you have solid, semi-solid, and liquid. Okay? Please take note sa composition, percentage sa agar na naanila. Okay? Alright. Next, we go now to composition. When we say composition, first is synthetic or chemically defined. Your exact composition is known. A very good example is your NA and MAC because you already know kung unsa yung mga um, indicators na adira, na mga pH indicators, unsa na inhibitors na, ah, unsa na mga, um, you know, like proteins ba na adira, peptone, beef extract ba na adira, inana. So that's synthetic or chemically defined. But when we say non-synthetic or complex, usually, katunin siya mga mugamit o mga like blood, serum, mga plant or animal, yeast extract, because you really don't know kung unsay composition sa blood at this particular time na imo siyang appeal sa culture media. Okay? That's non-synthetic or complex. Alright? And last uh, type is you have your living state or tissue. Now, this type of culture media, usually, ato na ginagamit only for viruses and some special types of bacteria. You have your obligate intracellular bacteria, your rickettsia and chlamydia. Because these types of bacteria, they do not grow um, in um, normal culture media, okay? And we also have one specific mycobacterium species. Um, you have uh, mycobacterium leprae, your causative agent of um, leprosy, okay? Or Hansen's disease. Hansen's disease. Um, we culture this in the foot pads. Foot pads of armadillo. Oh, diba? That's M. leprae, Mycobacterium leprae, causative agent of your um, uh, leprosy or your Hansen's disease. Again, ginaculture siya asa, foot pads of armadillo. All right. And again, examples of living state uh, or tissue na mga culture media, you have McCoy cells, yes naman, Vero, Hela, Hep2 cells. Again, what is the culture media of choice for chlamydia? McCoy cells. Okay? Na-mention na ako na sa intro. So, Review the gap one. Again, what is again the considered to be the media of choice for chlamydia? McCoy cells. Okay. And kanina mga cells, usually guys, these are mga cancer cells. So, sir, mark anong cancer cells? Because again, cancer cells are immortal. They continue to divide. So, pwede pa siyang magamit until kanus ama ni mo kailangan. Okay? Alright. So, that's according to composition. And last, uh, next is of course, to manner of distribution. We have tubed uh, media. So, sa tubes na to siya butang. Usually, screw cap tubes, but sa AK, since air puff man ta, <laughs> Mag, ano ta? Cotton plug tubes, yes. So, first is broth, of course. Next is butt or deep. You have um, example and SIM, butt. Next, you have your slant, okay? Citrate, citrate. Citrate, uh, Simon's citrate. Again, do not uh, be scared, do not worry. Kaya na i-discuss further sa gram neg basilay biochem. And of course, butt and slant, example, your TSI, okay? And last is, of course, solid, or, or plated, sorry. You have your single layer lang. Shara ko sa single, shar, like me. Okay, anyway. And double, duha ka layers. All right. So for the next video, um, we'll now discuss the different types of culture media according to use, okay? And these are the different types, no? You have simple, maintenance, transport, enrichment, 
differential, selective, enriched, and special. Please take note of the difference. I'll explain. Enrichment and enriched. Okay?